Poetry is one of the most ancient and revered forms of literary expression. It captures the essence of human emotions, experiences, and thoughts in a way that transcends the ordinary, using language that is often condensed, symbolic, and rich in meaning. At its core, poetry is a blend of form and content, where the structure of the poem is just as important as the message it conveys. To fully appreciate and understand poetry, it's essential to familiarize yourself with its basic elements. These elements are the building blocks that poets use to craft their works, creating layers of meaning and evoking a wide range of emotions in the reader. Whether you're a seasoned reader of poetry or someone just beginning to explore this literary form, understanding these elements can deepen your appreciation and enhance your interpretive skills. In this introduction, we will explore the fundamental components that make up a poem, including its form, line, imagery, sound devices, figurative language, and theme. Each of these elements plays a crucial role in shaping the poem's overall impact and meaning. By learning about these aspects, you can begin to uncover the nuances of a poem, from its rhythm and sound to the deeper themes and emotions it seeks to convey. Let's delve into the world of poetry and discover the essential elements that poets use to bring their words to life. Here are the basic elements of poetry. Let us talk about the first one, the form. Form refers to how the poem is put together, like its structure and design. This includes things like how it rhymes, the rhythm of the words, how the lines are grouped into stanzas, and how it looks on the page. It is basically structure of a poem, which includes its length, layout, and rhyme scheme. Common forms include sonnets, haikus, limericks, and free verse. The second is, line. Line is the basic unit of poetry, often characterized by its length, rhythm, and arrangement on the page. We also have, imagery. It is the descriptive language that appeals to the senses, creating vivid mental pictures and sensory experiences for the reader. This means the writer chooses words that help you imagine how things look, sound, feel, smell, or taste. Next is, sound devices. These are techniques such as rhyme, rhythm, alliteration, assonance, consonance, and onomatopoeia that create auditory effects and enhance the musicality of a poem. Next one is, figurative language. Figurative language adds depth, nuance, an emotion to poetry by going beyond literal meanings and inviting readers to interpret and experience the text in different ways through the use of metaphors, similes, personification, or hyperbole. It allows poets to convey complex ideas, emotions, and experiences through imaginative and creative language. The last one is theme. Theme is also the central idea, message, or underlying meaning of a poem, often expressed through recurring images, symbols, or motifs. In addition to these elements, poems often have biographical, historical, and sociocultural contexts because these contexts greatly influence the themes, styles, and messages of the poems. Here are the things you need to remember when identifying them. Let us talk about the first one, biographical context. This involves understanding the poet's life, including their background, personal experiences, and relationships. These factors can influence the poem's themes, tone, and imagery, offering insights into its deeper meaning. Next is historical context. This involves understanding the time period when the poem was written, including the historical events, cultural movements, or societal norms that might have influenced the poet. Additionally, recognizing the literary movement the poem belongs to, such as Romanticism or Modernism, can provide insight into its themes, style, and overall content. 
The last one is socio-cultural context. This refers to the social, cultural, and ideological environment in which a poem is created and received. It includes societal norms, values, beliefs, traditions, and cultural identities, which can influence the poem's themes, symbols, language, and how it is interpreted by different audiences. By considering these various aspects of context, you can develop a more nuanced understanding of a poem and its layers of meaning. Context helps you see beyond the surface of the text and appreciate the complex interplay between the poem, the poet, and the world in which it was created.